Hey, it's Deepam from Write Your Way In, and I was very happy to accept Lauren's invitation to uh, offer you the prompt today. So this one is a three-step prompt from, inspired by Marion Roach Smith, and it uh, to do with lists, the power of lists. So um, we'll start by uh, just jotting down a few items that you or your character took when you left, when you or your character left, what was taken. So I invite you to write very tangible, specific objects, physical things, uh, not abstracts like, I don't know, freedom or whatever. <laughs> so just, um, just begin with actual objects that were taken when you or your character left. So we'll just do that. Just uh, At this point, we're just going to write down um, the item without much elaboration. That, that will come later. That's in the, in the final part of the exercise. So we start with um, you know, four or five objects that were taken. And the leaving can be anything from a relationship to a house to a job, uh, even just leaving the country, even leaving the house, what was taken. So we'll do that. So when you've got maybe four or five objects that you can think that was taken at that moment when you or your character left, then write down a few objects that were left behind, what wasn't taken, what was left. And those can be objects that couldn't be taken or what, what wanted to leave or so they can be what was left behind because one didn't want to take them or what one couldn't take along. Again, the, a physical object is, um, is really recommended here. Because each of those objects will carry some meaning which can be worked out later in the, in the long 20 minute write. Just think about that, four or five items. And then the third part would be what was forgotten? What was forgotten? What were the items that were forgotten that perhaps the character wished they'd taken or hoped that they would have taken or thought they had taken and then found out that they in fact did not? So once you have a few of those items down, you can look at the whole piece and see that there is probably a story there. 
So each of these items, um, so you, what you can do with this is you can, you can create a, a poem um, or, or a story. Um, it, it actually works. It's amazing how it works to um, invoke that show, don't tell so beautifully. If you, um, you know, you talk about the item that, that, for instance, what you took and, you know, what it looked like, how, you know, how it smelled, um, and then maybe a little backstory on it. Um, just, just dropping that in, um, very lightly and you can move that through all of the items. So then you have this kind of almost found poem, um, or you can create a whole, um, story around those items. It's, uh, it's always good to have those concrete items to, um, anchor your story to really bring it alive. So we'll write for uh, 20 minutes um, using those items in any way that you choose. Um, sorry. <laughs> in any way that you choose. And um, yeah, I wish you happy writing. Okay.